I know you already have a match tonight, but I'm desperate. Some WWE execs are coming from LA, but their flight is delayed. They won't get here until after the NXT taping is over. Wanna be a team player and put on a non-televised match for the execs and audience after the show?
I was wondering, do you know anybody who would be interested in challenging Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship? Do we have to go through this every time we talk? Yes. Being a GM can be tedious at times. You must allow me my few available joys. Okay. Gee, Mr. Regal, I'd sure love a chance to face Rhea Ripley. I won't even mind if you're about to tell me that it isn't as simple as that and whoever faces Rhea will actually have to jump through a number of hoops to earn the title shot. I thought you'd say that. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Because, wait, what did you just say? Nothing. Just tell me what I need to do. Now you've taken all the fun out of it. Come on, let's try again. I assume there's just a sign-up sheet or something? Of course there's not a sign-up sheet. We can't just hand out title chances willy-nilly. They must be earned. This is a company-wide opportunity. We're going to set up a number of fatal four-ways in what I'm calling the Road to Rhea. The winners of those matches will face each other in a final elimination four-way to determine who will take on Rhea Ripley for a championship. The question is, are you interested in getting on the road? Getting on the road. I like that. Thanks. So, are you interested or not? I'm in. I can't turn down a shot at a title, no matter how long the road is. I like the turn of phrase remarkably less coming from you. The war goddess! The road to Rhea begins right here in a series of fatal four ways to determine who will challenge Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship. Raquel Gonzalez, Tegan Knox, and Ember Moon are all big names in NXT, but the fourth superstar in this group can make a name for herself with a big win tonight. And for once, I agree with you, Saxon. There's no doubt who has the most to gain in this match. Oh, with the bridge. Great upside down in a tree of woe. <laughs> Hung in the tree of woe. Oh, oh, ouch. Talk about dismantling your opponent. She's in the ring now. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Plenty of hits coming her way now. And she might start being a little more careful now, considering she's dealing with three opponents tonight. Turns that back on Ember. Climbs back inside. Uh-oh. And the game finds its mark. Producing a trampoline. side of the face. Ember with some agility. Ryan Hurricane Rock. Tag with a punch. Got it scouted. And security finds its mark. Knox saves herself. He turns it right around with a counter. By insecurity. Boom. Head kick connects. Ooh. Ooh. Smashing the top. Resolve might be wavering here. Yeah, heavy damage being done to Moon right now. Evades the offense. Basement drop kick. She's losing some steam now. And the fatal four-way stipulation starting to show its effects here. Able to interrupt the attack. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Drop kick. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Storm got out of the way. Big overhand. Boom! A forearm smack. Russian leg sweep. She's able to get out of the way.
what's coming next. Knox cuts her off. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. She manages to get control. Quick sidestep by Knox. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Oh, this deep into the face four way match, you've got to expect to be a little worse for wear. To the body, and it. There it is. She was looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. She's got the shoulders down. One, two, breaks the close count. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. She's into the ring again. Get to the body, and it. shining. Look at that. in this elimination match. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge.
Elimination Showdown. It doesn't get any bigger than Io Shirai, Dakota Kai, and WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. And they're all tucking at the bit for a shot at Rhea Ripley. It's the name you didn't mention that I'll be keeping an eye on, especially after a very impressive win in her qualifying fair for it. Said flying. Oh, that'll wake you up. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. She's starting to look concerned. And she might start being a little more careful now, considering she's dealing with three opponents tonight. And Tegiri finds his mark. Oh, solid contact there. Shirai able to stay that one up. Down low with the drop kick. Dakota wards off the end. From the heavens. Oh, no landing. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Re-enters under the ropes. Oh, oh that hands. That's gonna hurt. Standing shooting star. Press incredible. Shirai is looking defenseless, looking close to her end. And he is exposed here. Right to the kidneys from behind. And now 
she's demonstrated her whole arsenal. Yeah, she's proven difficult to grab a hold of. Trish Stratus can't be feeling good right now. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Trish is reeling to her feet. Measure it up one more time. at the mercy of her opponent. Trish needs to reassess her strategy. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. She's queuing it up again. Savage knee to the face. Unloading their best shot once more. seed ending to this fatal four-way. She had to go through three very intimidating opponents in this one. This is definitely a match she should be proud of. Congrats. You look better than I expected. Thanks. Still not good enough to defeat me, though. I don't even know why we're going through the charade of this match. Because I want your championship. And I want to listen to nothing but metal in the locker room. But sometimes we end up with EDM. Point is, even I don't always get what I want. With that being said, I'm more than happy to defeat you in the ring if you don't mind the embarrassment. Big talk from a big fraud. Watch your back, in and out of the ring. I'm not running. But trust me, you should. Am I concerned? Of her? Come on. She talks a big game, but everyone knows that's all it is. Talk. If this Yobbo is the best competition they can find to face me, I'll be holding the NXT Women's Championship for a very long time. You're not worried about your opponent having any extra motivation? She's endured so much already by making it this far down the road to Rhea. She's fighting for a championship. She shouldn't need extra motivation. And like you said, she's already had to win two matches just to get this far. Even if she was rested, she'd be a long shot against me. But she's tired and worn down. So it's only a matter of time before her road to Rhea ends with a terrible and violent collision. And there you see the NXT Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, fresh off her strong statement. Wait, it's the challenger from behind. Now she must not have appreciated what Rhea said. And things have seemingly gotten out of hand backstage. No time to wait for a bell to ring. This thing's disintegrating into a backstage brawl. Oh, look at the knees. Endless knee strikes. Foot to the midsection. Oh, impressive counter. Enzagiri finds its mark. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Oh, she responds with a counter. Nothing fancy there. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Ooh. Ripley avoids the attack. Running power slam. Right in the kisser. She saw it coming. Oh! Oh! Ooh! 
<laughs> Able to avoid any harm there. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Well placed kick. Flying Majorana, beautiful. Really just laying it in. And Zagiri finds its mark. Dropkick hits the mark. Ouch. Ooh. Ripley averts the attack. She anticipated that one. Oh! Well scouted by Ripley. Dodged right on cue. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, man. She's staying elusive. Hurricane Rana, ideals meal. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. Ripley is down, and she might be out. Ripley left an opening. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? And that will do it.
scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Gentlemen, I think she's about to start a... Here's one of the most dominant women superstars today, Rhea. Introducing the challenger from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Helen Lance. And introducing the champion from Adelaide, Australia, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. Welcome to one of the most exciting nights of WrestleMania weekend. NXT takeover and one of the most heated matches on the card. The rivalry between Rhea Ripley and her opponent has definitely reached a boiling point, Michael. Ripley's defending her NXT Women's Championship against a fierce challenger who's been taking the fight for Ripley for weeks. And it all culminates right now. Oh, kick connects. Rhea had that scout. Oh, yeah. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Tearing down the leg now. Firm control. Oh, jeez. Nasty kick to the face. And security finds its mark. Stomping down. Drop kick hits the mark. The champ taking their share of hits now. And a kick. Evading offense. Step up and carry. Top rope. Here we go. From the heavens. Splash from the top. She did her homework there. What in her, Kenrana? Ah, oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Precision strikes. Ooh, what a four club. Was ready for that. Rhea ducks into the ring post. Here we go. The challenger dodges Rhea's attempt with a kendo stick. This is what I was hoping to see between these two. But this isn't unsanctioned like their last encounter. It should be. And there it is. The referee has thrown out the match. I don't think they care. These two are going to keep fighting until one of them can't continue. That's enough. That's oh, is broken loose at NXT TakeOver. William Regal and a horde of referees doing their best to stop him. Good luck. When cooler heads prevail, I think the challenger is going to regret the outcome here tonight. Hey, Rhea Ripley was the first to go for a kendo stick. Either way, this is going to end in a disqualification. Her opponent has a legitimate claim for a rematch. We'll have to see how that shakes out, but at least it looks like the fight between these two is finally under control. Yeah, for now at least. He's had enough. You've sent your message. Come on, stop. I gather you have a complaint. Yeah, I've got a complaint. Rhea should be stripped of her title. What she pulled last night was completely out of line. Unbecoming of a champion, if you ask me. I didn't. And as I recall, she wasn't the only one who attacked her opponent with a kendo stick. She attacked. I defended myself. There's a huge difference. Unfortunately for you, in this case, 
That difference exists mainly in your mind. This is insane! I agree. This whole rivalry between the two of you has grown to outsized proportions. I've discussed the conflict with Mr. McMahon and Triple H. They both agree with my brilliant idea to hold a rematch this weekend. This weekend? At WrestleMania? Indeed. And to guarantee a victor one way or another, it will be false count anywhere. It's about time you gave me the spotlight. Now I'm going to win Rhea's championship on the grandest stage of them all. At the very least, you'll try. Best of luck. And let's leave the weaponry at home this time, shall we? No promises. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. One of the best competitors in the women's division. Introducing the challenger from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Helen Lance. And introducing the champion from Adelaide, Australia. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. Just when we thought the rivalry between Rhea Ripley and her opponent couldn't get any hotter, leave it to WWE management, including Mr. McMahon and Triple H, to pour gasoline all over it. That's right, Corey, and that's why we're here at WrestleMania for a false count anywhere match between the defending NXT Women's Champion and a challenger who will stop at nothing to win Ripley's title. This match may have started at NXT TakeOver, but what better stage to finish it than the grandest stage of them all? Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. She can still turn it around by taking this fight wherever she wants. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Bang right in the face. And the gear finds its mark. State of distress. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. Slide no, no, no. shot right across the back of the net. Ouch. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Sights extremely vulnerable. Ripley caught off guard. Oh, knee to the face. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. That was a matter of a fraction of a second. And now it's reload time. Time to find out the moment to pull off that one more time. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Ripley is getting beaten down here. Things look hard. Get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. You can see the agony on her face. This is tap out. And just like that, Rhea Ripley's reign as NXT champion has come to an end. And a new champion is crowned. 
That's right. What started many weeks ago and got derailed at NXT TakeOver is finally finished here. And how fitting a moment. A title win is always emotional, but there's just something special about doing it on the grandest stage of them all. This road to Rhea and subsequent detour to WrestleMania was certainly unconventional, but none of that matters now. All that's important is NXT has a new flag bearer who looks poised to go on a long and dominant run. I agree, Corey. Whether you approve or disapprove of how she got here, our new NXT Women's Champion has etched her name in history and proven she belongs among the very best.